We are downtown Denver and we are going to be exploring some of the more hand-picked, beautiful buildings I can find so that you can experience the wonderfulness that is downtown Denver. It is Saturday, September 10, 2017. We are probably not going to the mall. That is an episode all in all of itself, so stay tuned. Seventeenth and Sherman. Okay, so here it is, the proper cornerstone. This is the Central Presbyterian Church, MDCCCXCII, which is 1892 and is registered on the National Registry of Historic Places. Beautiful. There, look at this archway. Let's see if I can get this. Okay, from here you can sort of see there's a spiral staircase inside the bell tower that leads up to the top. Pretty cool. Its cornerstone on this corner is just labeled as Central Presbyterian Church. Let's see if we can find anything else. Now here's something that I find really cool. It's a downspout, sure, but look at the detail they've used on these downspout retainers. Flared and medieval looking. It's absolutely gorgeous. I love that. Don't find that detail much these days. Now here we have the stained glass and the detail of stone around the windows. Let's see if I can get a close up there. Nice. Unfortunately, unfortunately I am seeing some water damage at the bottom, probably from ice. Kind of sad. Here's another shot of some of the stained glass from outside. You've got the two windows down here, a couple up, and we've got this one. That is beautiful from inside. Okay, this is something I'm just gonna mention. Um, I find a lot of miniatures everywhere these days. Um, it's one of those things where you find them in parking lots, you find them in uh, walkways and here we go right next to the church there's a whole big pile of cigarette butts beer can and miniatures kind of sad okay. I think we're seeing our first view of the Capitol building here we have a Knights of Columbus building and what I love about these types of places I've never been affiliated with any sort of uh, Knights Brotherhood or anything like that but this one looks so 60s. Um, I would guess 1965, 64-ish. I doubt I'm gonna find any sort of cornerstone, but notice right there in the center, there's a window unit built into the brick wall. Always an interesting thing, and I think they did that predominantly in the 60s. Here we have, I'm just gonna call it the Yellow House. It uh, looks like it's for sale, uh, urban apartment, so let's just say it's probably got units inside, but let's look at the architecture. 
this should be able to show the detail of those uh, ornate top moldings. Not to mention the circle, the column headings, faux column headings, and also the stars, the, the brick stars. Love that stuff. As it turns out, it's the Barrister Building at 1535 Grant. Here at 1505 Grant, just two doors down, two, three doors down, wonderful looking brickwork. Um, look all around that window. Um, see if I can get a close up. They have used different colors and textures of stone and brick to make this wonderful ornate. It almost looks like a faux arch with keystone. Of course, it's not, but I count those. Little bricks in the very top, which would have been the keystone, the, uh, the what looks like either concrete or marble accent, and then of course they've recessed some bricks, not recessed others, and they've done this all the way up on the whole building. Very nice. And here we've got a wonderful view of the entire building, at least the corner that's on the building with all those decorative bricks that we were talking about. Love it doesn't seem to have any other markers on the rest of the building but I think they used to be uh, apartments well they are apartments now but I think they used to be more uh, bad apartments okay like I said this is 1505 Grant it is called Argonaut Apartments but if you look under this awning there's a light that looks like it was made sometime in the I don't know 80s, 90s, but under that, I don't know if I can make it out, but there is brickwork that says Argonaut right there. And as we round this corner, you'll get a wonderful view of the Capitol Dome. Here we go, on the east side of Grant, just at the corner of Colfax, you see this uh, bookstore along with what looks like an abandoned place. I have no earthly clue what this hotel new house is. If it's an actual working hotel, wow, that would explain all of those upstairs windows. And I'm impressed if it's still open. Looks like it might be. So according to Yelp, hotel new house, has five reviews and three stars so come in and check it out and then if we swing 180 degrees behind us is the capital and this pervasive smell of marijuana is just over the entire block i don't know if it's all those folks um, chilling out sleeping in the grass or not but very heavy marijuana smell And here we are right in front of the Capitol. It's obviously under quite a bit of renovation.